I'm working with this bottle here in the Libre, and I wanted to go through making a sweep on a face, right? You can tell how this sweep just follows the curvature of this face, no matter what direction it's going. And I think that might be a useful tool for industrial engineering and other applications where you really want to have some organic type uh, surfacing. So we'll go through that today. So I'm working with this uh, revolution here. If you've seen the other video that has gone out about non-planar sweeps, you'll probably be able to predict what's next, but I'll highlight all of these faces. We'll go to Surface and Create Surface from Face. So we've created an infinitely thin copy of this face. What we see in green here is a surface, and it is surfaces are really only to be used as a means to the end they are never an end product or anything like that so we're simply going to use this green surface as a reference and then i can create another plane i'll go a distance of about 150. create a sketch now that we're in a sketch i'll grab a spline and you can use arcs or lines or anything you wish but I will uh, start above my part. I think that will be important later. And I'll start making a crazy profile. And I'll end there and I'll, I'll end within my part as well. So I've got this cool pattern. We'll deactivate the sketch and we'll ignore that this is not closed. If we wish we can close it, we can draw a line, line, and line just to uh, get a closed profile and extrude, but I can also ignore this and use a thin extrude. And that looks to be exactly what I'd like. I'll head over to surface again, delete face, and I'll simply select several faces to be deleted. And that leaves just the one surface. Oh, I missed one. That leaves just the one surface left. And that corresponds to my sketch. We'll now go to Move Rotate in the Surfaces menu. We'll select our surface. We'll use a precise move. I'll select my Z axis to define the direction of the move. And I'll offset this 150 millimeters or the same distance that I um, had made my plan at in the first place. I'll say OK to that. And now I can simply trim my surface. So I'll select these two surfaces. And I can delete this face or remove this face, if you will. And if I'd like to, I can also hide my surface here. So you can see I've trimmed my surface in a way that I have the edge of my surface uh, follow the profile of, I'll call this my bottle, all the way up and down. If I'd like to uh, simplify this down to just a single spline, that is perfectly doable. I'll head to 3D Sketch, we'll project, and there's the edge of my surface, so I select the edge of my surface. I'll maintain association and I'll deactivate my sketch. That gives me a 3D sketch that follows the surface of my bottle. From here, I can even hide the surface, I, the surface I was working with previously as now I'll just be relying on my 3D sketch. And there are several things I can do here. For this video, I think it would suffice to do a sweep. So I'll grab a plane and then I can select, you know, define along a sketch. And I can select what percentage along the sketch that I will define my plane. Uh, if you would like to be fancy, of course, you can define multiple planes throughout your sketch and have multiple different profiles and use a centerline loft to really customize the geometry that you'll be working with. Uh, for me, I'll, I'll simply do a, a sweep in this video. I'll place a circle. Maybe I'll we'll make that about eight millimeters. And now I can do a subtractive sweep or you can do an additive sweep if you prefer. 
we've been able to cut a cool and interesting shape into our bottle. So that is a fun way to utilize a spline on a surface to be able to get organic and interesting geometry. I can add some features if I'd like. So after a few fillets, I think we've come up with some geometry that is really fun and interesting. Hopefully this will uh, be helpful to you. We can't wait to see what you make, and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.